Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. If you're a new viewer, please subscribe and hit the bell. Then it will be saved in your library and you can find us back much easier. If you hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live and when new videos are loaded up. I've been busy for the last four days making videos. The generals are up for the coming week and uh, the love uh, romance readings are done until from January, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces and Aries. And this is for Taurus. So Taurus, welcome to your romance reading. Now, if you can see a white spot here, then click on that and it will take you through to my website. There you can find all information. You can find reviews, the news. There will be updates also this week. And um, you can see who I am and what I do. <clears throat> okay, and welcome to my Cyber Angels. Thank you for coming back and being such a faithful follower. And thank you for your support. You all make it what it, the channel is. Together we stand strong and together we uh, make the Cyber family. We have a Cyber family, new viewers. And all my viewers are Cyber Angels or Cyber Babes. Doesn't you can choose the name if you come into the live session, you'll get your wings, and then you're one of our cyber angels. We're cyber brothers and sisters, but I'm known as Mum. Okay, together we make what it is. It's a beautiful family, there's respect, there is laughter, there's discussions, not only cards. So come and join. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell, and so you won't be left out and also um, there are super chats available or super stickers that is a donation it starts off from 99 cents and i'll give you i'll answer your question with three cards and an oracle card or you can jump the queue so let's get started Taurus. you have a wedding and this is on monday the 24th for the first week this situation involves a marriage. This could be your marriage or this could be somebody else's marriage that you are going to a wedding. I'm using the, the Titanium um, Lennon Mum and I thought that would be nice because they're pink and pink is associated with love. I'll just show you which one. That's the one and the very simple, I'm using the Lennon Mum with the love cards because you can't really see what star sign it is so anybody could be giving you a basket of flowers or a gift this could also be a little ring or a present a bunch of flowers but luck is on your side okay luck is on your side now on the second week we have playfulness playfulness let your inner child out my darlings to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. Yes, always being serious is not good for a relationship or for a friendship for that matter. Be playful, have fun, have laughter, open your solar plex and your heart to fun. You, then you have the rider and the rider means that you might be getting a visitor or you might be visiting somebody but definitely you will be getting news and it looks like it's good news because it's pointing to the basket and the basket is luck and a gift perhaps the mailman because yes, in the early days this was the mailman and he might be sending you a parcel Ooh, exciting <coughs> excuse me in the third week very soon okay clearly decide what you want so that you so that it comes to you now keep on manifesting and, and visualizing if you cannot do this then make a visionary board take out pictures from old magazines or download them from internet and stick it on an old box of that you've made a visionary box decorate it Whatever you like, do it with a background of blue or yellow or pink if it's concerning love and then put it somewhere that you pass a couple of times a day and every time you pass that visionary board then just pick a picture 
and hold that in your memory and say wedding dress. I would love to have a beautiful wedding dress. Oh, I would love to have a wedding ring or an engagement ring. And that is how you manifest. So vision it. And you have the book. And the book means secrets. Or you might be starting a new study. Or you might have to do more research. Um, uh, research. Well, this can be related to the visionary board. So if you... Uh, um, if you uh, want to uh, manifest and visualize and you don't know how to do it, you have to do research on internet to get these pictures or in old, uh, in old magazines. So make sure that you clearly decide what you do and this will help you to do that with a visionary board. That is also learning something. You are learning how to visualize. So let it come to life in the real world. Let the angels and the universe know what you want so that it can come to you. If you are partnered up, even when you're partnered up and you want a child or you, uh, and you are married, you want to go on a honeymoon because you didn't, then visualize that. This is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, my darlings, then have a look at the a moon sign or the rising sign. Now, if you are partnered up or if you have a special friend uh, that you would like to get partnered up for or with for the long term, then have a had have a heart to heart conversation. Okay, honestly, discussing your feelings with each other. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other, like I said. And um, we always have to maintain um, the, the communication. Without communication, um, the relationship or the friendship might go to pulp. If we don't, I mean, no, we can't mind read other, each other's minds, okay? We can only guess. And if we've been together for a long time, then you can guess with 95% of the time what the what your partner um, would like or what they uh, want to do. But you must keep the communication going. That is what I always tell my queerants. Keep the communication going. Now, if one partner doesn't want to do something, then they have to open up, let the other one know. Otherwise, you cannot grow towards each other and stay in balance with each other. Now, somebody around you could be a snake in the grass. It might be somebody, a third party, that might is a bit, bit slithery and they want your partner or they fancy your partner. Um, watch out for venomous people. Okay, Don't let anybody come in between you and your loved one, or your partner, or your potential partner. Uh, or, you know, they most probably are jealous of you. So if you notice that somebody is jealous, that could be also the secrets, because the book is secrets. Then no, if you have a gut feeling, listen to your gut feeling, okay? Then you have to take action and talk to your partner. Say that I feel somebody's jealous, blah, blah, blah. They want to pinch you or take you, separate us. Okay. So keep the communication going. So you know where you stand with your partner and with yourself in the relationship. For the answers for, of the angels, we have, it's not the right time. So talk to your partner. This is a message from the angels. If this situation uh, occurs, that somebody is trying to break you up or somebody is trying to mind their business with yours, don't let anybody tell you how you should live your life or how you should act, uh, whether this relationship is good for you or not, unless you ask for their advice. If advice is given, then it's most probably gossip and sometimes it's meant with a good intentions. But nobody should in, uh, mind their business with yours. Now, for the um, so 
it's no, not a good time to uh, take action until you've spoken to your potential partner or your partner. Don't let anybody get involved in your marriage. A third party situation, that's no good. It's like a fifth wheel on the wagon. Right. It won't be in balance. You've got justice and truth. Wow. Justice and truth. What did I say? Keep the communication going. Let them know what's going on, what you want. Keep growing, balancing, and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Make sure that you are both happy with what is going on. This is a purple card, so it's a spiritual card. So emotionally, uh, like I said, listen to your intuitiveness. Perhaps emotionally you are feeling that something is not right or that somebody else is trying to get in between you two. Now, the Justice and Truth card of Archangel Michael says the scales should be balanced. He's giving you a golden key. Okay, Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key ensures that the truth is revealed and scales of justice are balanced. It doesn't have to be justice in a judicial situation, but to keep the, balance, uh, the scales balanced in the partnership. This sacred energetic key is delivered to you by Archangel Michael and is a powerful blessing of justice and truth. Justice is a concept of moral righteousness based on ethics, law, natural law, rationality, equity and fairness, taking into account human rights without discrimination. On the basis of race, gender, sexuality, orientation, or color, ethic, um, uh, ethnicity, religion, age, wealth, or disability. The energy of this key is a gift from the universe, or God for some, which allows the truth to service so that a situation can be resolved in a just and fair manner. Well, there you go. What did I just read? Did, it doesn't matter whether you're... I'm, I'm just... Uh, hold on. It doesn't... Like I said, nobody should mind their business with yours, whether um, you love another person from another culture uh, that is discrimination, racism, and that came up in what I was reading, or age for that matter. The issue at hand could be a legal one or a spiritual based contract where the universe, universal scales will be balanced via the laws of karma. The energy of this key is so powerful, Archangel Michael refers to it as energetic righteousness. Take this key with love and gratitude, hold it next to your heart and know that it is a gift, it is delivered and so it is. Now, what I would say when I say to my parent, you can't take this card with you, get a key that from the bedroom or from your space together and hold that key to your heart as a metaphorical symbol and say, I embrace the universe as I search for the truth and justice. I align my soul with divine will and justice serves me throughout time. I give thanks for the perfect outcome that is manifesting for me in response to the divine will of the universe. So it could mean that somebody is wearing a mask because they're not well or they, um, they might um, feel inadequate or they might have a, uh, an inferiority complex at the moment because something is not going well at work. So have a talk. Make them understand that you love them and that you support them. Or somebody might be wearing a mask and getting grouchy and venomous because um, they're out of work and they, they are not feeling well. It doesn't have to be a third party. 
but it could also be that somebody in the relationship or your potential partner doesn't feel the way he did before because something has happened. So find out what happened. Now, it's like feeling blue, but you can also, you can, they can also be feeling dark, dark. Dark always means negative, like depressed, because they haven't got work or because they think that you don't love them anymore or don't think so highly or respect them anymore because they are without work. So make them realize that black is a beautiful color. People say it is not a color, but the black is made of all the colors in the color spectrum, the rainbow. The answer is no, a definite no. If they say, you don't love me anymore, you say, no, I do love you. It is, I do not love what, you know, I do love you. Don't think that I don't love you. The answer is no, definitely not. I love you. So make them feel wanted and loved and understood. The angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely no. Is he, ha is he or she having a, an affair? No. There's something deeper than that. Okay. In a real relationship, you talk to each other, you find out if one is not feeling well or if something is bothering them. Because if something is bothering, it will fester and it's just like pus. So make sure it doesn't become septic. The black angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of acknowledgement. There you go. You have acknowledged, or it's been acknowledged. But you have also acknowledged that something is not right. Black is the color that contains every color within its absorbing all light that falls on it and gives out nothing. The angels would like you to encourage you to, dis to be disciplined at working through difficulties so that you can achieve freedom. Use your strong visionary ability to seek out new ideas, new beginnings and wealth. The angels deliver the answer no, as it has the ability to complete the incomplete. Often it is not the answer you want to hear, it is merely an answer to a question. And often no can mean not right now. Do not take no response related to this moment in time to mean never. Listen to this very good. No can always change. Never is bigger than no. Okay. The angel's answer. The angel's answer is aligned with your life path. Best interests and highest good. The answer no can often be an angel blessing in disguise. You know what it resonates to Taurus, okay? Should I listen to gossip? No. <clears throat> okay. Other symbols of black angel feather, preparation. Preparation for what? Marriage, engagement? Because this, we've got the marriage card there. Preparation. Creativity, what did I say about the visionary board and learning something, doing something new? Artistic, that's the visionary board. Idealistic, putting your idealistic visions and wishes onto the board. Protection, self-discipline and mystery. And we've got mystery here. So all is not bad, okay? Just listen to the words and I will read it again. Do not take a no response related to this moment in time to mean never. That is a very, very wise advice. Black crystals. The crystals that you can carry and use to heal, detox and relax is black tourmaline, onyx, jet, 
tektite, black agate, magnite, meteorite, and spore. And the angels that are associated with this angel feather is angel sariel, angel of guidance, angel usil, angel of faith, angel sakarel, angel of surrender, angel sach sachel, angel of wisdom. Wow, that is beautiful. And remember, you can always dress black up or down. You can eat it, that's licorice, you can wear it, and you can meditate on it. Okay. The last card is the Angel of challenge, uh, Channeling. So sit quietly and meditate on the black, or the word black if you prefer, and see that the universe is shining through you, but you must open your secretal chakra, your heart chakra, foremost and your emotional chakra and ask Archangel Metatron to help you with that or the Angel of Channeling if that is simpler for you. Ask the universe to open your chakras when you sit quietly let all the ideas that come in come in if there is a new idea Note that down, then at a later date you can look back onto it and evaluate it, or evaluate it whilst you're sitting quietly, and get that balance. This is how I do it. Are you interested in learning how to do it? Then send me an email. I hope you've loved this reading. I did. Um, just maintain the communication find out um, what you want and visualize on it make your visionary board and so it can come to you now and have a heart to heart conversation there you have to be serious and in the beginning of the month you have to be let your inner child out so you will be finding your balance between your child, uh, your innocence or your, your, your playfulness, your inner child, and to be serious. Wow, you've got a big task ahead, Taurus. I hope you like the reading. Take care and be blessed. And please give us a reaction below the video, even if it's just a thumbs up. Remember, together we stand strong. Okay? Solidarity. Solidarity is the force of love and being togetherness. Take care, be blessed, and see you in the life.